heard some people saying that Dominica Republic is not really good for digital nomads, but I've been here for three months already. So today I want to take you around with me on a typical day and we're gonna see things like cost of living, food, if there are any co-working spaces or how can you work here remotely and things like nightlife, lifestyle and anything you want to know about Dominican Republic, we are going to cover it all so that you can decide for yourself if Dominican Republic is good for digital nomads or if you just want to come here on holidays or not. Let's do it! First of all, where are we in Dominican Republic? <laughs> we are located in, I believe, one of the best places in Dominican Republic, which is called Las Terrenas. Las Terrenas is a little town located in the northeast coast and it's really famous for the paradisiac beaches, the clear water, white sands, its chill vibes, bachata music everywhere and fresh food. Good morning guys, so this is where we wake up every morning, so now I'm gonna take you around our house. It's a little bit of a mess, but that's real life struggles. <laughs> so this is our bedroom, as you can see we have quite a lot of space. And here we also have a bathroom, where, which I'm not going to show you because <laughs> it's a little bit of a mess. Then here we have the second bathroom. That's my bathroom. I'm going to show you a little bit. So it's pretty modern, really nice shower. And yeah, and here we also have another bedroom, <laughs> which is basically where we just watch movies, where we just chill, or we read a book. This is like our living room, we have lots of space, there we have a really nice terrace um, and here we have a really nice kitchen as you can see, it's pretty spacious. for this huge house, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a shared pool and amazing, all amazing. How much do you think we spent? We spent 900 American dollars, which is, I mean, really good, I have to say. Of course, you can spend way less than that if you get, for example, a one bedroom apartment or if you get an apartment, which is a little bit more far away from the beach. Um, and also we have a cleaning lady that comes here once a week and she only charges 500 pesos from here which is like, I don't know, like 5 American dollars I'm gonna write it here somewhere because I don't remember but it's super cheap and it's so cheap that we basically give her double because we think it's too cheap like, no, we don't want to exploit people <laughs> so we give her double so yeah, just so you know working morning and now we are home for have lunch and I'm having this amazing lasagna which is from yesterday uh, because I normally make lasagna on a Sunday because for me Sunday it's lasagna time I don't know why <laughs> and yeah let me actually let me know if you want the recipe of this vegan lasagna because it's like it's so good mm. anyway we normally have lunch either at home because anyway it's super cheap here to have your grocery shopping or we just go and eat like a vegan burger you know there are like lots of good places here to eat for lunch actually leave me know in the comments if you want to know more where there are really good vegan options around so we've been here for three months right and we just discovered <laughs> during our last month three restaurants where they do amazing vegan burgers we were like where have we been until now? So 
So let me finish this and then I'll get back to you. Yeah? Mm. The other half of the day, either we go and work from another cafe or we just stay home because we actually love working from home because for this really good price, you, you have a lot of space so you can work from the bedroom, well in this case from one of the two bedrooms or you can work from the terrace or you can work from the pool, you know, it's up to you. <laughs> but now I'm pretty sure you're wondering, yeah, but what about internet? Ta -da! The reality is that we have three Wi-Fi's here. So we have one in the house, which normally works but I don't know why during, during these three months sometimes didn't work. That's why we have ta -da, other two portable Wi-Fi's. But the one that everyone has recommended me and that it's also supposedly the faster one is the one from Claro. So you wanna go and get that one. Okay, enough talking about work. Now let's go and talk about the fun stuff. And here, the top five things you can do in Las Terenas after work. Yeah! So we normally either jump into our pool and have just a very chill evening by the pool or we just go by the beach and have a jump in the ocean. Now imagine that you finish working and you find yourself already in paradise. How do you feel? That's we just had a walk by the sea and here the walk by the sea is just amazing I mean look at this or another very fun thing to do is that you can go to a dance class because here there are like really good dancers here the dance Dominican bachata which is like a typical dance and that's actually the real bachata But before passing to the fun part, if you're enjoying this video, please put a like in this video and subscribe to this channel. But not because I'm gonna post lots of fun things and travels around the world and yummy vegan food. Not for that, okay? Just because you're gonna make me really happy. 